Hello everyone, it's Peter here, Peter Fisner, how are you doing guys? So, in today's episode we've got a small video about this Xbox and I would like to show it so that maybe there will be smarter person who will say something more but this Xbox, this Xbox is a dead Xbox, okay? So this came from one of the customers and had completely no power when I've opened it power supply was connected and was showing when was connected she was showing zero volts but when I disconnected from the bottom the main 12 volt connector only left the top connector for the standby I think it is this one then and I plugged in the power then I seen that there was 12 volt when I plugged in back the main 12 volt connector the bigger one automatically was zero so I knew that the board which is on the main connector is making a short I've disassembled it completely uh, up to the board or apprentice have done it I don't I don't remember actually because it was a few days ago and there was a few Xboxes um, anyways the, the person who done it they've done it in the past so it's not a problem yes yeah? so it's not a new person or anything but actually you know like whoever done it doesn't matter so we've, we've done it and uh, and then I'm checking for shorts and there is a short on main 12 volts power rail and no hit, hit uh, no visible heat dissipation anywhere so I start to check coils and when I started to check coils I checked that two of the coils uh, here okay these co these two coils I'll show you these two coils where now MOSFETs are missing were with different readings and I've compared it with other board and it was exactly wrong so I've used voltage injection and you couldn't see where you know where the heat was so I removed these MOSFETs and then volt injection injected and still the same yes so in that case I have to call it a no fix I didn't put these MOSFETs they are still here um, I have to call it a no fix because you know like what else I can do if I can't find the heat somewhere I have to assume that it's a PU fault yes um, and if I'm wrong I would like to know it that's that's why I'm only recording this video if somebody is smart enough to say why or I am wrong and why I'm wrong please let me know because I'm calling it a no fix and if I'm wrong um, maybe I can learn something new but from my understanding if I can't see a heat dis dissipation anywhere uh, I can't do like enough yes and the, the short is still there so I won't be removing a PU just to check if the short will be gone I set up only for two or just over two amps and only about one volt I didn't want to set up more uh, because if the short is you know on the PU or, or something I don't wanna you know like my my power supply doesn't give more about two amps anyway on on that voltage count you know count pull more and if I would like to get to three or four amps I would have to increase the volts and I was afraid that you know if I will increase the volts I can damage favor this Xbox so I didn't want to do it yes uh, and with with unfortunately over two amps you know that wasn't able to show anywhere it was shown in those um, those two MOSFETs it was shown but it wasn't shown on the MOSFETs not on any capacitors over there just the board itself heated up when the MOSFETs were and then again the board was heating up when there was no MOSFETs but it was surface it wasn't the uh, MOSFET or the capacitors yes each of them 
So that's why I'm calling it a no fix and I would be really happy to hear from you guys. Thank you for watching. That's all I wanted to share with you today. Um, if you have any update, like what I could check, please comment down below. Uh, I will try my best to, to help the customer if, if you have any idea. But that's it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.